What's up guys? Good morning! Welcome back to the channel. We are uh, Dominic and Valerio from Porto Travel Diaries and we just made it to the beautiful city of uh, Marrakesh. We arrived uh, yesterday evening as our flight was uh, delayed. We, we arrived a bit late and uh, so we decided not to vlog much. We just uh, uh, went for a walk and went to have dinner to one of the best actually restaurants here in uh, Marrakesh to Darda Rooftop. We will uh, show you that. And yeah, we're gonna spend some few days here in Marrakesh, as you might have uh, heard uh, recently there was a very bad earthquake that made a lot of damage and um, unfortunately also many people uh, were killed, so we actually came hoping to, uh, to see still the beauty of this city and to see how is the situation and to give uh, a live update as you might know if you follow us we were posting still our adventure from uh, Asia but as we came right now we are back into Europe we wanted to give a live update of the situation so Actually, many of you... we are in Africa right now. <laughs> we are in Africa so we changed continent again and yeah so to give you a real uh, honest view of the place and the situation right we were now. also actually considering like probably many people if to cancel this trip but then we were thinking that actually Morocco like it's depending on tourism so the least we could do yeah. is not to cancel the trip come here and help them in a way that we don't do any cancellation so if you are planning the trip here consider coming anyway because that's how you can help Moroccan people right now in this hard situation as well it is the morning after yeah. and we are already out and exploring the city and uh, this is one of the most famous malls unfortunately they are doing some uh, renovation so you cannot get very close we already noticed they are doing a lot of renovation a lot of uh, construction so many places are uh, with restricted access yeah. we are I not don't sure know. I don't, if it's due yeah, to the earthquake to the earthquake because it doesn't look like destroyed it looks just like they are renovating but yeah, we're very surprised that it's a lot of renovation going on, a lot of people around working and cleaning and uh, fixing things. So that's very nice because it uh, means that they really take care of the yeah. place. So yeah, enough of the talking. Let's, yeah. uh, let's show you around. <laughs> It's only 8 a.m. but the streets, as you can see, very busy, a lot of traffic, a lot of motorbikes. Yeah, Reminds us a bit of Asia when yeah. you have to, <laughs> when you have to cross, have when you have to cross and just uh, walk in between. But actually, there are traffic lights and they are actually stopping at them, so that's a good sign. <laughs> uh, we're going back to our hotel for uh, breakfast now, as we left very early this morning to come shoot some uh, pictures and video. Uh, for sunrise, so we're going now for breakfast. We are staying at Ariat, that is, uh, as you might know, one of the typical uh, construction uh, houses and the hotels here in uh, Morocco. There are this uh, typical uh, building, and usually they are open in the middle, and there is uh, also a swimming pool. Actually, like from, ours. from what I read, like back in the days, this Riyadh they were. They were basically houses of wealthier people, yeah. people and now they are turned into kind of guest houses. Yeah, houses yeah. Yeah, we and we are staying that. in Ariad Shala the first night, yes. we are gonna show you right now. But actually we arrived last night in the evening and we are gonna check out in a couple of hours, so not much time. And uh, then we are gonna stay in one of our very bucket list Ariads. Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah, let's check the breakfast. <laughs>
are out here, we are not in the Medina anymore because we are going to the Jardin Majorelle and the Yves Saint Laurent Museum that are uh, slightly outside of the Medina. Yeah. It's the only place, uh, one of the few places where you actually have to book before online and we paid, uh, it's a combined ticket for all of them and it's uh, 300 um, um, because there is, yeah, there is another museum about about the uh, Berber art, so we, we, we are gonna visit three museums and we pay 28 euros per person yeah. combine all three tickets. Otherwise, only Jardin Majorelle was, I think, like 12 euros. 13, something like this, yeah. 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 yeah, we have a slot now at one, so we're gonna walk there. Yeah. We came with a taxi because it was like 25 minutes walk, otherwise, taxi we paid 40, uh, 40 down, yeah. so. It's a bit less than uh, 4 euros, yeah. so not, not bad. Let's go, because I see the queue already. We will see how it looks. That was the Jardin Majorel, and also we've been inside the museum of the Berbers. But inside that, we we couldn't take photos or videos, so we couldn't show you that. So you have it's to like, come here yeah. for yourself and see it for yourself. <laughs> it's a collection of like uh, artifacts, objects, tools that the Berbers use basically. Also, we had to leave the backpack and uh, tripod at the entrance of the of the Jardin, so you might as well. Just leave it in your hotel. Yeah. If you, you can if take. The, you because, can bring the camera. Or, yeah. but uh, you cannot have a backpack and tripod. And yeah, now we just walk to the museum. Back at the Medina, we took a taxi to come back. We are now going uh, for lunch at one uh, lunch spot that Dominica had saved. And yeah, for the museum, uh, mostly it was uh, no photos and no videos inside, that's why we couldn't show you much. It was mainly a collection of um, art pieces and a collection of clothes of uh, Yves Saint Laurent. So if you're into uh, fashion or yeah. art, you're gonna like it. There was also like one temporary exhibition, so I guess it changes every now and then. And now it was about uh, Australian Aborigines uh, art. Uh, so yeah, if you are into fashion, uh, interested in these kind of things, and you really want a picture with the Yves Saint Laurent logo on the wall, uh, go. Otherwise, you, you might skip if you're not really into this kind of stuff. And, uh, but definitely go for the Jardin Majorel, so that was very, very nice. And yeah, now we are back in the streets of the Medina, very busy, uh, walking to this cafe. Also keep in mind, when you go around with the taxi, usually the first price that they give you is around double of what they actually can take you for. Every time we got it for around half of what they were asking at the beginning. To go around, uh, let's say Medina or to this famous place, it's around 30, 40. 30, 40, yeah, there is, yeah, 3, 4 euros to get everywhere around 10, 15 minutes taxi ride. That's the price that you should go for. So guys, we are here at the cafe that we were talking about, it's the cafe Atai. We just ordered some uh, starter, some Moroccan brusquette assortment. Uh, we have some iced tea and uh, mint shoes. 
Okay, in the meantime, we're gonna have this assortment. I think it's guacamole, tomatoes, these are grilled vegetables, and this. Yeah, I think. Uh, and it was a, like a Moroccan name, but yeah, it looks like a kind of aubergine, like a, a grilled and like a Let paste, like a babagan. Uh, maybe. Ah, uh, no, first we need to take a picture. <laughs> And now we can try how it is. Mm. Yes. It's good, yeah. 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 It's aubergine and maybe like tomatoes as well. Spicy, okay. like a paste, no? Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. So let's enjoy. <laughs> So guys, we just checked in at our uh, bucket list uh, Riyadh here in Marrakesh. It's uh, Riyadh B Marrakesh. It's very famous. You might know it from uh, especially Instagram area. Yeah. We are here in the common area, but there is also so the pool. Beautiful. And we just got some welcome tea and some snacks, dates. As you can maybe know that they are very famous here in Morocco. Uh, and this tea, I think, is the main tea, which is also very famous in right. Marrakesh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had it already this morning for yeah. breakfast. Mm, so good. This is the area around. We are talking like very yeah. quietly because it's super quiet. It is quiet. very quiet here, yeah. We are the only ones here in the common area and we are just uh, waiting here. Mm. Uh, they are finishing to clean up and prepare our room and in the meantime we'll enjoy this. Yeah. I don't know where she came from. Kinda turned me upside down. I just don't know what to do I want to spend the night at hers And bring her one of my t-shirts So it smells like her perfume Now I really get what the love songs are talking about And I just want to tell her how I feel Scream it out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile Then you've been in love, that's how you know you've been in love There's something about the way she laughs and the way she always dances When she thinks nobody sees She's gonna miss her soul I tell her, baby, please don't go I think you should stay with me And I, I really get what the love songs are talking about Good evening, guys Hello <laughs> So after a very, very long day of exploring We just changed, as you can see, much more elegant And we are headed for a dinner it's gonna be a very special dinner because it's gonna be in a restaurant where they do also like a belly dance shows kind of thing. I forgot the name of the restaurant. The... Yeah, we don't remember. Anyway, we will write it down. So we are very excited to see some belly dances, some uh, other traditional Moroccan dances. So hopefully also the food is good. And let's see how is this restaurant and how is the show mainly. <laughs> 